It's been a few months since I made a Barbie dress, so it's finally time to make another one and we're making, as obviously you can tell from the title of the video, the Magic of Pegasus. Is that what it's called? Barbie Magic of Pegasus? That purple dress at the end, because somehow I've not made anything from that movie and I actually hadn't seen that movie until recently. It's just not one of the ones I watched as a kid. So we have all the fabric here and we're just gonna get started because I'm hoping that this will be a quick make. And it's a little different because most things I feel like I make usually are like gold vibes. This is actually like a silver dress. Let me show you what I mean. So for the trims that I bought, we have like, don't wanna tip these all out. Th these silver ones, that's what we're working with. I never work with silver. But today we're going to, and I'm excited. We're just getting right to it with the skirts. I'm trying to remember how much of each fabric I ordered. I was trying to go a little bit cheaper. I wanna say I got three yards of this. I'm not going for the whole ball gown silhouette. I think I'm just gonna put a few petticoats underneath it. So I don't need a whole lot of volume. I think I might be able to get away with a half circle skirt with this fabric, which I might have only gotten enough for a half circle anyway. I was watching the ending scenes to figure out how long it is. I can't tell if it's floor length. There's a floor length version and there's a shorter skating version. And while I think it would be cool to take this skating, I can't skate. We're not gonna try it out. I'm gonna go for a full length version and then we can make it shorter if we want. But you know the drill for these, if you've watched my videos before at least, you know how to make a half circle skirt. Let me just lay this down. I'm going to Disney World in like a week, so hopefully this will be done before I go to Disney World. This video is already getting off to such a quick start. It must only be like two minutes in. Look, we've already got our base skirt cut. And I know my waist is not this big, but we gather it down so that it will fit. It's it's full length, trust me. The next layer is gonna be this really cool pearly essence, pearlescent layer. Uh oh, did I not get three yards of this? Oh, maybe I did. This is just gonna give it some dimension, some pizzazz. Although I don't think I got enough. Oh, dang, I didn't read the description. This is only 45 inches wide. Well, shoot, what do I do? Ah, uh, okay, well, I need to think of what to do now because I don't have enough of this. We just did panels. I'm pretty sure I can get this fabric locally if I don't have enough, but we have two panels here, two panels there, one panel there. I think the bottom hem of each panel is like 32 inches and then the top waist part of it is like five inches, except I made this one a little bit bigger. Um, so we have five panels. So it's gonna be about five yards-ish. And then the third and final layer will be this purple organza. It's a little darker than I was hoping that it would be because this dress is like a very light purple. So overall, I think this dress is just gonna be a dark or darker purple. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you have to order things online is that you don't really know what color they are. I wanna show you guys something monumental that this machine does. I just got it in the mail. And when I noticed what it did, I was shocked. I don't know if this is just a thing that I didn't know about, but it cuts the thread itself. So I finished sewing the two half circles of this organza together and you click this. It cuts the thread. It only saves like two seconds, but it's like, I, I, I love it so much. Normally when I do skirts, I like to make them separate because it's more convenient to use. If I need a purple skirt, I have purple skirt. But I think I'm gonna connect all of these together because I don't know. I just find in the mood to connect them together. I have all of the pieces kind of sewn together and I'm pinning them right now. They're not hemmed yet though, because I'm trying to decide how long I want it still. It's a lot of fabric. I feel like the start of these videos is always so boring because every Barbie skirt is literally just a circle skirt. And so it's so repetitive doing these stupid circle skirts over and over again. So hopefully I'm not too boring. Or at least they're different colors, but the bodice will be less boring because it's like a corset. <laughs> girl's been hanging like this all night so that I can't even out the hem. It actually didn't fall as much as I thought it would. It fell quite a bit on this side for the organza and then the satin has fallen a little. So I'm just gonna like cut all of it straight. 
Hi, baby. Guys, I just discovered another thing this machine does. It's useful, but also kind of annoying. I was sewing this hem and the machine kept stopping. I was like, why is it stopping? Watch. It won't go. I look over here, it's telling me the bobbin thread is almost empty. And I'm like, ah. Oh. How does it know? It's cool other than the fact that I want to just run the bobbin out so that I'm not wasting thread, but it literally won't let me do more than like three stitches at a time. There's enough in there to do at least like a foot more. I'm just so obsessed with you, Bert. He's so cute. He always sits like this. Oh. <laughs> the skirt is done. Now it's totally hemmed. So we're gonna have to start the corset. What I, I've been putting it off because I'm tired. I just made a corset, so I don't want to make another one. I'm using an Arania black corset pattern. Unfortunately, you can't get these anymore. I don't know what happened, but her website is closed. I don't, I don't know what happened. But luckily, I had downloaded this quite a bit ago, and it was still saved on my computer, so I can use it. But I have already done a mock-up for a different dress I'm working on, so I'm using the mock-up pieces as the pattern, and yeah. It's just gonna be like a corset, corset. I think it's gonna be three layers. So we'll do the same amount of layers from the skirt and we'll base them all together so that it's kind of the same and then we can decorate it. This whole um, outer layer is sewn together. I ended up not doing the iridescent, it was just too much, but I'm thinking about adding this lace onto it it's not totally the vibe but it's like you know kind of silvery kind of cute actually i found this i kind of like this the geometric stuff that's happening if i do it on this front panel it might be really pretty like what if i do this and then i need to open this up this is the stuff i got for the um seam you know? and there's one in the center so we could do center line like that and then i got this thicker one to add a little bit more of drama to go on like that i think it's cool i recently saw someone use a hammer because normally when you have a beaded fabric you have to take all the beads out of where you're going to sew or else you just can't sew there you're you're going to break a needle and so usually i spend like hours clipping out each bead but i saw somebody hammer them and it breaks them up so i'm going to use my handy dandy little pink hammer here and I'm gonna, let's see. I, I hope it's not loud. Oh! Maybe I should put something. This is genius. OMG. Well, that was fast. Now I just need a vacuum. Oh, that's awesome. Uh oh. I'm actually so stupid. Oh no. Fun fact, I got this from Goodwill for $9.99 last summer and it was just like ugly and I sanded it down and I painted it and I added these cute little knobs. So I'm kind of bummed that I ruined it. I'm so dumb. To stick with the silver theme, I'm using like this silvery cotton for the lining of the corset. And this is what we'll do the bones with. I'm kind of working on the corset right now. There's the skirt and it's really turning out pretty. I think I'm gonna add Swarovski crystals on all of it just to spice it up. Wow, that looks really good. Hi everybody, new day and I am really wanting to get this done today. I just finished sewing the lining. I have all the boning channels down and so now we need to put the corset together. Here is, and it looks so good in the sun, you guys, the bodice. I think I'm going to put Swarovski crystals all over the rest of it because the, the rest of this purple is kind of boring. I'll do that last, obviously. First, we just need to sew these two together. I do need to go get some bias binding in silver because I only have gold. So we need to go to the store to get that. This dress is almost done. I'm working on the corset right now. It's kind of hard to... It's kind of ouch, wrinkly, which I don't really like. And I'm trying to like smooth it out, like tugging it so that I can attach it lower down on the lining, but it's just not working out for me. And I don't know why. <laughs>
Now the bodice on this dress has two interesting things. It has like this top little ribbony. It almost looks like um, like an award ribbon <laughs> at the top corner. And now at the opposite bottom corner, it also has like a little ribbon thing. What I'm gonna do for that is use, for the bottom one, I'm gonna use this and tie purple ribbon onto it. And then the top one, I have this, let me get better lighting. It's like an ice, it looks like an ice crystal. It's really beautiful. And I think I'm gonna use that along with this ribbon, this ribbon, and this ribbon to make the little thing. And we're just gonna be hot gluing it. It was a little crafty, but I don't care. I changed my mind. I did use that one, but this small one was just too small. So I'm using this silver one instead. It's a little bit different from that one, but they're pretty similar. I do have another one of those, but I wanted to switch it up. It's almost done. I finished off the i don't know what to call them the little embellishment so there's that one and then there's that one and it's like wearable i also added straps to it there's the skirt it could be done but i'm thinking i want to add some swarovski crystals to it to kind of spice it up i have these ones they're like the a b ones i wish i had normal but i only have a b at the moment i think i'm gonna put them just all over the bodice just to make it shine. Maybe do a gradient, I don't know. <laughs> 